Hello, I'm uh, Richard Grasenberg. I am the head of the Delft office in the Netherlands and welcome to Flipchart Friday. Uh, the subject of my presentation is the consideration that developers need to take on the subject of a monopower foundation or a jacket foundation. So I'm going to run you through what the key factors are in, in making those decisions um, and as an example of how we help our customers uh, develop offshore wind farms. So, so first, first point is, is it, is it going to do the job? Uh, is it going to maximize production? So the consideration there is the, the higher the turbine, the better the production. Of course, there's a constraint because of the, um, the environmental permits, but the higher, the better. Looking at the second point, that's accessibility. It's really, really important that when you need to access the foundation, it's, it's easy to get up and it's easy and safe to come down. That's, that's very, very important. Third point is, can I get it local? You know, getting a foundation just around the corner is just more efficient um, than getting it from another part of the world. So these three are the first three considerations. What's, what's quite often forgotten is, can I get it fast? So you, you don't have a lot of time in projects like this. The burden of project finance is very high. So speed is really, really important speed of the supply chain. And then finally, uh, as water depths increase, turbines get bigger, we need bigger installation vessels. So the installation vessels need to grow with the foundation and the turbine. Now, why is that important? It takes about three years to build a new vessel. So it needs, it needs to speed up. That's, that's a real supply chain constraint. So my, my, my job is basically supporting customers making the decision what is right for their project. My job is to make things easy, understandable. What, how, 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 how I do that job is basically looking at all the parameters in a big picture, comparing the monopile and the jacket. Overall, the monopile is a strong solution, but still, Customers need the arguments to, to come to the right decision. If you look at throughput, Monopiles is a clear winner. If you look at inventory, that is actually quite similar. So both are made of steel plates. Steel plates do not require a lot of space. However, if there's a half product, um, jackets are bigger. So you need, you need more storage space. Then the number of workstations. Now, why is the number of workstations important? The number of workstations increases the complexity of fabrication. Complexity is never good. Um, then looking at monopiles, comparing them to jackets, monopile is a clear, clear winner. Now, capacity constraints. There's about five, six factories for monopiles. Jackets, it's the same number. So they're at par. You, you, can, you can find and source both solutions in markets. And if you look at repeatability, of course, the monopile is, is a big winner. It's a standardized product. So with each of these considerations, our customers want and need to know how much is it going to cost? How fast is it going to go? And does it do the job? Bringing the consideration of a monopile first jacket foundation to a conclusion, customers demand clear, clear answers to their questions. And my job is to break them down into the three Ps. The first one is for the foundation, does it do the job? Does it perform? Is it easy to access? Does it perform at the right height? That's very, very important. Then of course the price is important because the cheaper the better. And if you look at this construction pace, that, that, that is one of the really most important factors, the speed of delivery. Summing it all up, it contributes to the levelized cost of energy, um, which is basically driven by these three Ps. 
Um, and that is the purpose of what we are doing in offshore wind. The purpose is to produce um, offshore energy at a fair and reasonable price. So it's all about performance, price and pace. Um, that determines the price of the energy, sums it all up. Thank you, thank you for watching this video. Until next time.